Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, we're talking about the ZN function. Now, the ZN function is an interesting number function because it allows us to handle nulls whenever we come across it in a data set. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how that works. I've created a mock data set that I'll leave a link to in the description below so you can download that and use it along with this video. All right, let's get stuck in. Okay, I've got a very simple data set here. I've got it in Excel. It's very simple. It essentially just tries to simulate some cinema ticket sales in different countries. We've got the genre on the left, revenue in column B, and in column C, the country. You can see that I have some empty fields here, and this is what the ZN function is gonna help me deal with. You'll see why I need to deal with this in Tableau in a little bit. Uh, but essentially, this is our data set, and we're gonna get stuck in. I'm gonna leave a description to this in the description, as I've already said. Uh, so you can download it and follow along as you need to. Now you do need to close the Excel file if you're gonna connect to Excel. It can cause issues when you're trying to connect to an Excel file live whilst working with it inside of Tablet. Okay, so I've gone ahead and closed that file. It's gonna open up Excel file. It's gonna open up my ZN function data folder and we're just gonna to connect to the mark data. Let's go ahead and open that and see what happens. And the next step is essentially you get the data model window, this window here. And because we don't have any fancy data prep to work with, we can just hop right into sheet one by hitting the bottom left option here, okay? Now, we've got our data set and it's perfect. Let's go ahead and bring some countries in. So I'm just gonna bring in some rows and you'll see that we have five countries here that we can work with. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the revenue for each country. And there we go, we have a pretty much perfect data set. Now, you probably really can't see anything wrong with this data set at this level of aggregation because everything is fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna create a new sheet and I'm gonna try and bring in all the information I need to make this uh, sort of more compelling. So I'm gonna bring country, then I'm gonna bring in genre, and then I'm gonna bring in the revenue, okay? And now you can start to see where the issues are. You can see that I have uh, this particular item here that's empty. And in this particular instance, essentially what the ZN functions allows us to do is to replace that with a zero. Okay, so let me just show you how the function works. Let me open up a calculation window and just make this a little larger so you can all see, okay? So you just type in ZN. It's very, very simple. You can see that the automatic uh, list comes up hit enter, and then it asks us for the expressions. In this case, it's revenue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in there and you're pretty much good to go. It's as easy as that to, uh, to type this up. I normally add ZN to the front of the field. So I know that I'm using the ZN function in this particular field. So I'll just type in here ZN revenue. And now that we've done that, um, it's always good just to validate your calculation, make sure it works, make sure you understand what's going on. In my previous video, I showed you that you can actually expand this little area here on the right. And if you click on the function, uh, it gives you a highlight and it also tells you what the expression does on the right hand side. So let's just review that. Returns the expression if it is not now, otherwise returns zero, okay? So let's hit okay and see what happens. Let's bring ZN here and we're gonna place that here into this box. You can see that it highlights it for me. I'm kind of semi using the show me feature here. I have no choice in the matter. I know I said don't use show me, but I have no choice in this matter. That's just what they call it when you do that, okay? And now you can see that it actually has a value 0.0, .0 here, which is really, really important. Let me show you why. Okay, let's say we're doing some really, really pivotal calculations and we need things like averages and aggregations to work correctly. In in Tableau, quite a lot of the time, if you're doing calculations of functions and a null appears in the data set, you might actually get an error. And in those instances, you don't want the error. You want to be able to keep on computing and just assume that the value in null is actually zero because that's essentially what it is. In computer terms, nothing exists, but in human terms, that's just a value of zero. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change one of these fields to be an average. So this sum here, we're gonna change it to an average to see what we get. Let's go over here, make this an average, and you'll see that we get a list of values. For France, it's 7.5831 and so on and so forth. Now, what's going on here is that if I actually go into the root data here and just look at this a little second and just go into the full data, and look at what's actually going on you'll see that the revenue field that it's actually taken into consideration is this column here. And you can see there's actually quite a few nulls. In fact, if I look down my whole data set, there's actually enough nulls there to actually sway my average. Because if these values are just zero and the database of the system, instead of entering the value of 0.00, .00 just enters a null, then our average is potentially wrong. We could walk away thinking that our average ticket sales here is seven pounds 50, when in fact we're giving away free tickets and that needs to be taken into consideration. So let's go ahead and solve that problem. 
Let's close this. And now what we're going to do, we're going to bring this ZN revenue item here, and I'm actually going to drop it in the same square. What that does is it creates a whole load of complicated uh, uh, items on the view. It changes it to measure names, measure values. I'll talk about this in another video. But essentially what we want to do is focus here where it says sum ZN revenue. And we want to change this to be an average. And when we do that, you'll notice that the average is different, okay? And this is because this average is taking into account the zero value sales that we've actually got, which we had quite a few of. So this is actually a really important function because sometimes when you're doing calculations, if you don't understand how exactly that data has been brought into the data set you're working with, you might not realize that you need to be using the ZN function to help sort that out. It's also a great way of cleaning up your data. Essentially, sometimes you just don't want the, the term null all over your data set. You might just want it to be a clean uh, set of data. And so the ZN function actually can help clear this up. Um, you know, the term, the terminology of null is not it, not common in most businesses. Null is actually quite a data centric term. It's something that BI developers, data warehouses know a lot about, but actually your everyday individual, when they see that in a dashboard, might not necessarily uh, have the data literacy to understand, hey, this is a value that just has nothing in it. You kind of spend a lot of time explaining to someone that, you know, nothing and zero are not the same thing. Um, so to avoid all of that, ZN is your friend. Okay, so that's pretty much an example of how to use it. Uh, hopefully a good way of using it. And hopefully you now see the importance of why you should be using it in your data set. Uh, that's pretty much it. This is a much shorter video than the previous one. Um, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video.